Welcome back, America, and welcome to this special edition, this update edition of Freedom Friday with your host, Carl Gallops. My guest today is Larry Pinckney. I've had Larry on the show several times. He's a dear friend of mine, and uh, Larry Pinckney was one of the original Black Panthers. I'll let him tell you more about that in a few moments uh, from now, but I, I have Larry on because Larry has such a wonderful grasp of what's going on in our culture, this cultural war that's being instituted, yes, folks, by our our government. Larry understands this as well as anybody. Uh, and I asked Larry to come on to give us some of his brilliant commentary and opining uh, coming from the standpoint of, a, uh, of an African-American male, a black male living in America who has been imprisoned for his views in the past and uh, who has come right up against the culture war with his own life. I've asked him to come on to comment on ESPN's recent uh, accolades towards uh, uh, this, this athlete, Michael Sam, whom they are celebrating as the first openly gay NFL football player to be drafted. And they're celebrating him and equating him. Today's headlines on ESPN, they're equating Michael Sam and his openly gay lifestyle as that of uh, Rosa Parks, and Jackie Robinson, of all things, Larry Pinckney, welcome to Freedom Friday Update. Well, thank you so much. I'm always honored and delighted to spend time with you, my dear brother. Um, you know, I am, I am just, uh, it's, it's difficult to put into words how uh, I, I, I view this, but I'm going to do my utter best to, to put this into words. And, and let me just say this very bluntly, very directly. Uh, and very sincerely. You know, whether or not a person, quote, comes out, unquote, as being gay is really their prerogative. Right. But to compare NFL football player Michael Sam to the sacrifices made by Jackie Robinson and or Miss Rosa Parks is, one, egregiously inaccurate, Two, a gross mischaracterization. Three, it is crass opportunism. And four, it is an insult to politically conscious and critically thinking people of all colors. And I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah no, I was going to say, and five, it's ludicrous ignorance. But go ahead. <laughs> well, you know, this, this may insult people, but hey, let the chips fall where they may because maybe people uh, uh, will, will heed the wake-up call. I wanted to say this. Some, and I do emphasize the word some, of the most racist people in this nation are openly gay persons who act as if being gay is a bona fide measure of political sacrifice. All right? right. I have to. I have to be clear about that. Right. And and, and 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 such a thing is nothing less than opportunism and insanity. Uh, yeah. A I, gay I, lifestyle I, is a gay lifestyle. I am not gay, so I cannot speak on what it is like to be gay. As a black person, however, who has been engaged in the political liberation struggle on behalf of everyday, ordinary, black, white, brown, red, and yellow people for over 45 years, I can say this, how dare these media morons and, and their blind sheep or million followers, you know, make these kind of outrageous and inaccurate. I go back to saying what I said before. It's egregious, not just inaccurate, it's egregiously inaccurate. Right. It really, really is. And it's, it's obviously part of the, as you put it, the, the cultural war, or wars, plural, uh, being waged against everyday ordinary people to keep us blindsided, or I should say to blindside us. Right. And, you know, and, so and, we don't think. 
Yeah, and to keep us divided, to keep us divided. Now, Larry, here's the way I see it. Now, feel free to correct me. I mean, you and I don't have to agree completely on everything we say. That's, that's what makes us such good friends. But, but, right. but, but hear me. Uh, I, this is what I'm going to say. This issue of comparing the radical homosexual uh, movement, the radical homosexual agenda, and that's, by the way, that's what this thing is with Michael Sam and ESPN. It's a part of that agenda to celebrate, promote. Now, listen to celebrate and promote the way in which a person chooses to have sex. That's the bottom line. That's the foundation. If ever there was an example of apples and oranges, this is it. Because when we're talking about Rosa Parks and Jackie Robinson, we're not talking about what they did in their bedroom behind closed doors. <laughs> we're, we're talking about the fact that the color of their skin alone caused them grievous, grievous uh, damages and harm to their life based upon abject racism, which our country mm-hmm. was desperately trying to rid itself of. And, and Jackie Robinson and Rosa Parks played a part in that, along with a lot of white folks. But the, 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 mm-hmm. bottom, but the, bottom, the bottom line is, this is apples and oranges. How can Michael Sam be compared to, to, to these two great Americans who were overcoming racism and 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 to be compared to somebody who who their whole identity is wrapped up in the way in which they engage in sex, Larry. Am am I wrong about this? I don't know. I don't think you are, but that's my opinion. I do not think you are wrong. Uh, but you know, as far as I'm concerned, Carl, you know, the next thing these folks will be doing, these media morons and their minions, the next thing they will be doing is uh, comparing Michael Sam and or others to, who knows, Dr. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Medgar Evers, who knows? This is insane. Yeah. And we need to, we need to understand it and not be afraid to come out and, and say it. Uh, you know, as I said earlier, whether or not a person, quote, comes out, unquote, as being gay is their prerogative. That is their prerogative, but to compare a person who does that to the sacrifices that have been made uh, uh, by, uh, that were made by Jackie Robinson and or Rosa Parks and or Martin Luther King or Malcolm X or Micker Evers, or, it's an endless list. Or as you said, many great white Americans as well, such as Viola Luizzo, okay, who gave her life, literally shot in the face for the struggle, yeah. for the in the civil rights struggle. Yeah. So, I mean, this is it's it's very difficult. It, it just I I find it despicable. <laughs> I I it's hear just despicable. I hear your struggle, my brother. Listen, let me ask you this. So, what's your analysis of this? Do they truly believe ESPN? And the media morons, do they truly believe that we are this ignorant that we can't distinguish between the way in which a person chooses to engage in their sexual life behind closed doors? And by the way, that's between them and God, as far as I'm concerned. It's not the government's Mm -hmm. business. It's not even really my business until they drag it in the streets and demand that we like it, celebrate it, and finance it, then it becomes my business, then I can exercise my First Amendment right to speak to it. But do they really think we're that ignorant to not be able to distinguish between sexuality and a person's race and prejudice and racism against them? Or are they that ignorant that they don't know? What what do you think's going on here? I think it's a combination of, one, they hope we are that ignorant, and two, Yes, many of them, I mean, let's face it, Carl, you and I are a few decades old, okay? Yeah, yeah, and we are. We have, we, we have seen the dumbing down of this nation. So, indeed, I would have to say, secondly, yes, some of these morons, and that's the nicest word I can, thank or you. adjective I can use yeah. to describe them. Thank, thank you for using uh, a nice word, yes. <laughs> <laughs> some of them... Uh, probably do believe that we are one, we, the people. We, the people, as the Constitution defines it. Everyday, ordinary, black, white, brown, red, yellow people. That we, the people, are so dumbed down and so ignorant, and some of them, meaning of the media talking heads, the media morons, are also themselves so ignorant. And that's what's so scary about this. 
Right. That's, that's, that, that's very, very scary. We have got to stop being intimidated yeah. uh, from, from, from speaking our truth. They have their truth, we have our truth. Right. And let, 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 let people be critical thinkers. Let them critically think. So, I mean, you know what, my brother, that, that, that's all I can say. Yeah. No, well, listen, you've done an excellent job. And by the way, folks, we're talking to Larry Pinckney. Uh, Larry was a part of and one, was one of the original Black Panthers uh, that, that began out in California, Los Angeles. Uh, and, I, and I'll get Larry to give you just a brief biography of himself. But he's also a prolific writer and thinker. He is also a uh, very much sought after commentator and opiner on television and radio uh, broadcast and commentary. And it, it is a great honor of mine to count him as one of my dear friends and a frequent guest on Freedom Friday. Larry, tell folks just very briefly, we've only got another minute or two, but uh, tell folks something a little bit about your background so they'll know from where you're coming. Because see, there are some people that are going to listen to this that don't know you and don't know me and say, listen to those bigots, those homophobes, those racists. But but we're not any of that. We're just taking uh, truth, laying it out before the people and comparing apples to oranges and letting people uh, make up their own minds. But tell people, who you who you are and where you come from? Well, my background, in a nutshell, is that yes, I am a veteran of the original Black Panther Party, which was founded in Oakland, California, in in uh, uh, 1966, in in, in October of 1966, and as many people may know, spread nationwide as well as in other parts of the world. I'm also uh, a former Minister of Interior for the Republic of New Africa. I'm a, a former uh, political science instructor, university political science instructor, poli-sci and international relations. I continue to write, not nearly as much as I should. There's so many other things happening, uh, but I continue to do that and to speak out. And uh, that's, you know, that basically sums it up in a nutshell. I, I, I think what's really important is our, our listeners, your listeners, our listeners, uh, because they are the modus. For, for, for change. And when I say change, I mean it's time to reclaim the ideals, and I use that word very deliberately, the ideals of this nation. Larry, as always, very brilliant commentary, and uh, you've given us a lot to think about. I hope that what you have said here today will will really go a long way in helping people discern the truth, not only the truth of this matter, but the truth of the dumbing down process, the truth of this government agenda to keep us all divided along mm-hmm. raci- or along racial and sexual orientation lines. And, and mm-hmm. we've got to overcome that, my friend. We've got to overcome that and Freedom Friday is a part of that. That's why the first word in the name of our show is freedom. We've, we're, gonna, we're going to lose our freedom if we stay divided and if we allow this political speech, this, this, this political speak, uh, to, to uh, completely pollute our thought processes. So, so Larry, you've, you've done an amazing job at helping us to straighten this out. A black man living in America who has been involved in the black struggle for 50 years, you understand that the ESPN and the media morons comparing Michael Sam to a Rosa Parks or a Jackie Robinson is absolutely absurd. Yes, yes, it is. And I want to say to you, quite frankly, uh, and all the wonderful listeners, you know, Freedom Friday, you are all an incredible and an integral part of, of, of this struggle. I mean, the struggle goes on. It didn't stop. They'd like us to believe it stopped. You see, but the, but it, they tried to morph it and distort it and and disfigure it into something that it is not and was not. So I thank you, I salute you and your listeners, Carl. It is also and always, quite frankly, you know this, my brother. It's always an honor and a delight to spend a little bit of time with you. Well, thank you so much, Larry Pinckney. Folks, that's my guest this afternoon, Larry Pinckney, and we're going to have him back on. Larry, thank you so much for your time. We will have you back on very soon. Thank you for weighing in on this just absurd commentary that uh, ESPN has put out there. God bless you, my brother. You take care. Folks, you have thank been... Thank you, Carl. Absolutely, yeah, man. Folks, you have been listening to another edition of Freedom Friday with Carl Gallup, your host. This has been a Freedom Friday update. Stay tuned. We'll have more of these. May the Lord bless you and keep you.